And that breaking news comes from Warren, one man in critical condition after a garage explosion. This happened at a home on Gettner near 8 Mile and Gratiot. The explosion also damaged part of the house. Megan Woods is there live with more on what happened. Megan, what can you tell us? Well, Rod and Sandra, I'm going to show you behind me is what's left of that home and garage. You can see the garage completely caved in. Now, police and fire have had this street blocked off for hours and less than 20 minutes ago just opened it back up. People living, driving nearby tell us they heard the first loud boom around three this afternoon. Oh, it was orange flames for sure. Like the garage was engulfed in flames. Like that's why like you see now there's no more garage. First, people heard the loud noise. Deontay Banks says he was driving when he heard it. With the windows up, like you heard it loud as day. And then my roommates call me and like, the house is on fire next door. Hurry up and get here. Well, I'm two minutes away. I'm... And that's when I pulled up. The house started exploding even more. It's probably exploded. 10 times. Lawrence Bear says he heard the loud boom while parked outside of his home about a block away. It's one massive explosion followed by several smaller ones and then it sounded like fireworks going off after that. He jumped out of his car and saw this. All I seen was a gray cloud of smoke going across the street. Warren police tell us the owner of this home was handling some sort of explosive device described as a bomb. It went off, the man's hand was blown off as well, and the garage and home caught on fire. Bomb squad, Warren police and fire are still here investigating, trying to piece together what happened. Now we talked to friends of um, the people living inside of this home. They say they did have a dog and that dog was inside and ran away. So they're still looking for that dog and we'll have that information on clickondetroit.com. Live in Warren, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4.